a very good day to all of you. Today I'm going to show how to do implicit differentiation using mapper. Okay. For example, if z is implicitly defined as a function of x and y by x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to 1 implicit. Z is defined implicitly, shows that x del z del x plus y del z del y equal to z minus 1 over z. We call back for the implicit partial differentiation. If we have the implicit function here, this is fxz equal to 0. Once your del z del x will be negative fx. This thing is the f is a function of x, y, z. Then the points del z del x is negative fx divided by fz. The point del z del y is negative fy divided by fz. So we are going to show this one using map form. The functions defined here already. If we start actually to clear the previous memory and then okay, it defines a function f implicit uh, from the implicit function we make it become an equation which is yeah, x squared plus y squared plus x squared where the equal one and bring it to the okay, left hand side make it become like equation f x y z equal to zero so the f is actually x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 1. And then you need to find from the f here, find fx, fy, fz, and plug into the implicit partial differentiation formula. Okay. Del f, del x, I assign it as a a. So to get the del f, del x, a. This is under the calculus. Find the first partial derivative. You use this k button. And then I just assign it into a variable a. So you have 2x del f del y. Again, to use the same button, just change the x to y. So I assign uh, del f del y to b, variable b, del f del z to variable c. Now you want to find k. Now you want to find your del z del x. Since your fx, this is a, fz is c, so your del z del x will be negative a over c. fx is negative a over c. Okay, now I'm going type this one. We use this button or a backslash to go down and then so your del z del y will be negative this f y is actually the b so negative b over c we may simplify it and we will start Okay, and we are going to show at okay, left side here equal to right hand side. But the left hand side is x multiplied del z del x plus y multiplied del z del y. So we have x dot fx plus y dot fy. Negative x squared plus y squared. And notice that. This one. Is that from the equation actually? We uh, have this one. x squared plus y squared is actually it brings the z squared to the other side. I mean x squared plus y squared will be 1 minus the z squared. So we we'll substitute k. Okay x squared plus y squared equal to 1 minus z squared into 
the left hand side here. Then I simplify it. Now z squared minus 1 over z. Okay, if you z squared over z, you have 1. So the left, it, it become 1 minus, so it becomes z minus 1 over z. Which is it, z minus 1 over z. So this is how we do the implicit differentiation using method. When you first you find the first derivative with respect to x, respect to y, with respect to z, where I define uh, assign them into variable a, b, c. A, b, c. Hence, your f x will be your negative a over c. Your f y will be negative b over c. Okay, with this, thank you for your attention.